Florence or Firenze is the capital of Tuscany, a well-known Italian region. It is one of Italy's most popular tourist destinations, with roughly 10 million visitors each year. Emperor Julius Caesar established Florence in the year 59 BC. The Roman settlement was called Florentia, and the region was utilized as a vast Roman army camp, something that may still be seen on a Firenze street map today. Florentia was particularly significant since it was located on the Arno River, providing a fertile valley for the Roman army. The fashion business in Italy was born and bred here. Gucci Gucci and Salvatore Ferragamo, two local designers, launched haute couture boutiques in Florence in the 1920s, and shopping in the Tuscan capital has remained popular ever since. In a gorgeous labyrinth of ancient back streets, a list fashion houses La Cevie de Tornabuoni and the Pandora's box of specialized boutiques are selling all kinds of wonderful goods parade alongside family-run bottegue. Observe four-generation Florentine goldsmiths and shoemakers at work, by artisan scents evocative of the Florentine countryside and Tuscan sea breeze, and be aware that the label Fiorentina is one of the best worldwide labels available. While you're enjoying these awesome drone shots, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell. We are posting videos like this twice a week and we would hate for you to miss it. The months of April through August are the busiest for tourists in Florence. The busiest season, however, is between April and June, when the Maggio Musicale Festival takes place. June is a fantastic time to come, since you will be able to participate in the historic processions honoring San Giovanni, Florence's patron saint. Easter is another major tourist season, as the Duomo puts up stunning fireworks displays. Florence is a tourist attraction that may be explored in a single day or over the course of a week. Some visitors like to visit Florence for a day or two to see the top attractions and get a sense for the city, while others prefer to spend more time in Florence and just use their vacation to explore other villages and towns in the lovely Tuscany area. Visitors will want to return for sure to Florence in the near future, whether for a day, a week or a month. Florence has so many beautiful sights to view that it may be said that the entire city is a museum. Many of these sites are within walking distance of one another in the downtown area, although some are located just beyond the city limits. As a result, you can walk to many sites and use public transportation to those that are difficult to reach. When you Google Florence, you will always see an image of the Cathedral of Florence and its bell tower. The Duomo, also known as the Santa Maria del Fiore, is the icon of Florence and dominates the Florentine skyline. The Duomo, Europe's fourth biggest cathedral, is located on the Piazza del Duomo, in Florence's historic center. The Duomo's construction began around the end of the 13th century, but the cathedral front was not finished until the 16th century. The cathedral experienced repeated changes over the ages, resulting in the current facade. Although the interior of the cathedral looks somewhat sober, especially after the extravagant facade, there are also a number of highlights to be seen there. Allow yourself to be fascinated by Baccio Danolo's marble floor and also consider Michelino's iconic painting of Dante explaining his Divina Commedia. The Giardino di Boboli is a real open-air museum 
that is located just behind the Pitti Palace. Much of the current gardens were laid out by Eleonora of Toledo, the wife of Cosimo I. The gardens have been adapted and extended multiple times over the centuries and have become known for the works of the art that can be found there. The Grata Grande, a cave with stalactites and sculptures, is the most famous. At the back of the cave is the secret Vasari corridor connected to Palazzo Vecchio. The Ponte Vecchio Mini Gold Bridge is Florence's most spectacular and oldest bridge still in use. Tadio Gaddi, a student of Giotto, created the Ponte Vecchio, which was completed in 1345. The Ponte Vecchio is famous for the numerous shops and on and around the bridge that used to be home to blacksmiths, tanners and butchers. They used the Arno River in Florence as a landfill. However, Duke Fernandino made sure they left because they caused too much noise and stench. They were replaced by jewelers and goldsmiths who could also pay a higher rent. Amazing sculpture and artworks may be seen practically everywhere throughout Florence's streets. The Piazza della Signoria, however, is the jackpot of outdoor street art. The plaza is filled with sculptures by the Renaissance's best painters. What's the best part about it? It's all completely free. The Piazza della Signoria has been the center of political life in Florence since the 14th century, with the prominent Palazzo Vecchio overlooking the square. The sculptures in Piazza della Signoria bristle with political connotations, many of which are fiercely contradictory. Outside the Palazzo Vecchio, Michelangelo's David, the original is at the Galleria dell'Accademia, was placed as a symbol of the Republic's defiance of the tyrannical Medici.